Oh, Boris! What's up guys, Mavs here, and welcome back to Ben and Ink Machine Reese's Story. We have ourselves chapter two, guys. Very excited to get into this and find out more about Reese's Story. If you guys haven't seen the first video, check it out. Links in the description down below. Already a very good Ben and Ink Machine fan game to be had here. So, we're going to get into it enough of the jibber jabber, but what's going on with Reese there? He's like, half demon thing, half him. Is he going to start getting possessed and changed or something? I don't know, guys. Again, let's just get into it here. Ah, uh, maybe next time I'll find him in here. Those who come never return. I always make... Oh! All right, Joey, I'm here. Let's see what you wanted to show me. We got ourselves Henry, everybody! Give him a round of applause! What's this gonna mean, though? So Reese comes in first, and then Henry comes in second. Are we gonna end up meeting? Are we gonna be helping each other out? Like, who knows? This is real interesting. That voice. Is that Henry? Oh, he doesn't like the sound of him one bit. Hot oh, dang. Ah, ah, my head. Uh, what happened? Oh, I can't remember what happened. All I remember was escaping from Bendy. Dang, my head. Wait, why can't I feel my hand? Oh, so that menu screen was telling us something there. He may actually eventually get possessed. Like little by little, maybe each chapter. He gets more possessed as as we go through. My hand! Ah, what's happening? I'm covered in ink. Wait, is Benny trying to change me? That's it. I'm getting out of here. I've had enough of this. What the heck, man? That has got to be something like first waking up in the middle of a ritual circle, and then second, you realize while waking up in the middle of a ritual circle, your hands getting changed and possessed, and you're transforming into demonic things, like dang. Okay, so there's a door here. Someone locked it, I see. So we can't go back? Can we not leave? I want to leave this disgusting place, I do. Oh god, the music department. Okay, so as Reese said, we have ourselves the music department. That's interesting. Will we see Alice Angel? Will we see Boris at the end of this chapter? Who knows? Because this story is quite a bit different, guys. So I don't know if it will extract the same sort of things as the real game. But that's what I really do like about this one is the fact that it does change things up. And we see a different perspective, yada, yada. So... Yeah, maybe it won't be like that, but it will be still cool to see Boris in some form walking around, or maybe even a little reference to Alice Angel. Who knows, guys? Again, let's get on with it here and find out more. So, we have all these details here. We got, like, music sheets, and then, of course, we got the music department. I said it in the first video, but the art style is on point. And hello! The spare bendies room! Why would you have so many spare bendies? What was the occasion? <laughs> oh, Sammy maybe? What was that? I don't know, but again, why so many bendies, man? What in the world? This is stuffed. Absolutely stuffed. Like, why would you have this many? It reminds me, of, I've seen the videos, like Tattletale Easter eggs. When you go into the VHS tape, you type in a code. And you see a room full of Mama Tattletales. This is what it reminds me of. Like, they're hidden away for a secret purpose. That is really what it reminds me of here. Like, holy. I swear I saw a different one. I can't examine any of them. Yeah, there is. Hi. I can examine you, of course. What's wrong with this cow? Yeah, why would they have a demonic cow? Like, back then, they didn't think he was demonic. Like, why would they have one? Did they know his secrets? Did they know he was secretly evil? Did he do things back then as well? Like, who knows, guys? Interesting. Of course, this is all speculation in this fan game, you know? I'm not... I don't have the same um, theories for the real game, only for this game here. And is that a key? Ah, a key! It is! We're gonna maybe need that soon, I suppose. But where all that opened up? It's showing me the way, guys! <laughs> it's like, you got your key? Well, y'all gotta use it. Is it for one of these doors? I can't seem to, no, I can't seem to use it on those doors. All right, I suppose we've got to keep exploring here, guys. Sure thing. Stairs? Have we been up these stairs? I don't think we have. Oh, we definitely haven't because I would recognize this room. Oh, my God. What is happening? That's a bendy cut out there. So someone was in the middle of a sacrifice or some sort of ritual or something. Some sort of summoning. I don't know. You've got the instruments here. Maybe they were playing music as they were trying to do this thing. The drum and the bass there. Holy heck, but they stopped for some reason like they haven't fully completed it But we've got the candles and everything and they're lit up too. So 
This may be a fresh ritual that was going on. Maybe they left to do something. I don't know. Well, we're gonna get out of there. I don't think there's anything else to be had. There's a door up there. We, we've got the key. Can we use it there? I don't know. Well, what about that door? There's a big corridor. Oh, we can. I don't know if I want to go up there yet, though. Seems it may be important. Let's just quickly check around here. Just in case we've missed anything else. We've got all the instruments there. Sure, we're gonna waddle our way down here, guys. See what other secrets we can find. And there's a narrow corridor here. It's not a good sign, guys, when you find a narrow corridor. <laughs> it's not gonna lead to good things. Oh, and I was right! Who the heck was that? We can't get in. We can keep knocking, though, guys. Maybe eventually we'll annoy the person that's in there so much that they might open. So, we're just gonna keep knocking. I got time. I got all day, in fact, you know? Yep, uh, I've got flipping all day. You'll give one eventually. Two thousand years later. Just open the door! <laughs> Alright, I give up guys. They would open stubborn lot they are! <laughs> Why wouldn't they let me in? I thought I was so determined, guys, but I I just had to give in in the end. It took me so long knocking on that door there. I suppose we should go up to that corridor then. I guess so. Let's find out what this is about. The music room? These instruments seem used. Freshly used. How would you tell they've been used? <laughs> Does the drum have like a slight dent in it from the ferocious drumming that someone did? <laughs> Does the bass have strings that were broken? <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know how you can tell how an instrument's been recently used, but sure. This boy must have a keen eyeball. <laughs> but there's a cutscene here. I'm not controlling anything. Sammy Lawrence! Oh, oh man, look, look, look behind you. Oh, he saw him though. He got a good look of him. He was right there. What the heck was that? He saw him, but didn't quite realize what he saw. Whoa, that was insane. That was creepy, man. Oh, I don't like the look of Sammy Lawrence. Like, he is a freak, a complete freak. So again, he saw him, but didn't quite know what he saw. You would have thought he would have had a good look, you know? Yeah, he, 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 like, he didn't run off too long after he looked at him, so, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's continue on, but that was something. Um, we're just gonna go down here, and again, another cutscene, it's Bendy! Well, look who it is! You're joking, go away! Oh! He's tasting me again! Oh, we can't go that way. Oh, dang! What the flip? Leave me alone! Why are you tasting me, man? I didn't do nothing, I just want to escape. I do, I do. Okay, we've got a good lead in front of him. He's nowhere near us now. We've confused him with all these tables, guys. He's nowhere, where is he? Bendy? Come on, racing boy, run. Keep up that determination, man. Go on, boy. All right, let's go. Oh, intense, I gotta hide. We got a counter? Where do we hide? It's locked, we can't go in any of the doors. Oh, okay, we can go in one of the doors. Hide in the closet, then. Where are you, Reese? You can't hide forever. Oh, dang, he's gone. I swear to God I'm gonna find him. Oh, thank God he's gone. I think that door's unlocked now. Really? Which door? Hide behind table? Okay. What? Where are you, Reese? You can't hide forever. Oh, wait. What? He found me? <laughs> I thought he disappeared! <laughs> Found you! What? No! <laughs> I thought he disappeared! Like, we finished our hide and seek game! Why did that happen? Note to self, guys. No more trying to hide because that doesn't end well. We just have to go through the door. Simple as that. Here we go! Is Bendy still gonna get me somehow like he did a moment ago? <laughs> Okay, what's going on here? Another cutscene, it seems. Another ritual circle. All right, who the heck is drawing these pentagrams? Me! Oh, Sammy Lawrence yet again. It's okay, stay down. Finally, Benny will notice me. Oh, Bendy Senpai, please notice me. <laughs> I've tried all these years to get you to notice me. Please just notice me. <laughs> Ah, oh, there we go, nice and tight. We don't want our sheep roaming around now, wouldn't we? So, Sammy, what's the meaning of this? 
Why are you covered in ink? So he knows about Sammy. Of course, like he did work here too, you know, in this whole fan game story and stuff. So yeah, of course that makes sense. <laughs> Foolish sheep, I've been enlightened. He opened my eyes and now I understand everything. He treats Bendy like a god, like why? Sammy, why are you talking about who, what are you talking about? Who's he? Why, it's Bendy, of course. Who else would it be? And now with my offering in place, Bendy will finally notice me. Bendy said bye. Bye, see you later. <laughs> Sammy, come back. Please don't do this. Just let me go. Oh, please, Sammy, please. <laughs> sheep, sheep, sheep. It's time for sleep. Oh, that creepy line he said. Rest your head. It's time for bed. Well, Gotta listen to our parents, guys, so. If you said it's time for bed, better go to bed tonight, so. Good night, guys, see you in the morning. In the morning you may wake, or in the morning you'll be dead. Oh, I didn't like hearing that the first time, so what will make you think I'd like hearing it for the second time? Hear me, Bendy, arise in the darkness, arise and claim this tender sheep. I'm not tender, I'm skin and bones. Bendy, no. Please don't! Oh! Please let me go! Can I not move? I wouldn't tell anyone! Please stay back! Stay back! I can't move, man. Stay back! Stay back! <sighs> what? Whoa! We've been changed? I think. He showed his face there all demonic. Hey, are you right? Who's there? Why can't I see? Someone help me! Don't worry, everything is gonna be fine. There's no way Bendy can find us! Wait. Oh, Boris! Oh, okay! <laughs> he saved us! Boris actually saved us! That's awesome! Hey, <laughs> Oh my god, I know we've all said like the goofy character, but he's just actually implemented the goofy personality here. <laughs> got you, Yuck! <laughs> That's me! Nice to see you again, Reese! <laughs> That's hilarious, man. Boris, I see you dead. How are you here? When Henry activated the ink machine, I was pulled back to life! <laughs> <laughs> Probably should tone it down just a little bit, yeah? Okay. Wait, Henry's here? Oh god, this is really bad! Don't worry, Reese, I have a plan. I'll take you through the next level. We can tell it to live up to the mechanic room, but we gotta be careful. Wait, why do we need to be careful? Bendy will follow us? No, you you see a familiar face is up there. And she is a bit cranky. She? Wait, you don't mean Alice! Oh, are we gonna see a teaser of her now? No! Darn it, man! <laughs> Wanted to see our angelic bear, Alice Angel. Benny the Machine is by the Meatly, of course, yada yada. Another cool chapter, man. This is probably actually better than the first. Like, just with the real game, chapter two was better than chapter one. Like, oh, that was awesome. Like, we saw Boris there and he saved us. And then we heard a teaser about Alice that we may actually see her next time. And Boris's sprite was amazing, too. Like, holy. Anorak's done an amazing job in this game so far. Like, dang, I really can't wait for chapter three here. But sadly, guys, we are going to end it. If you guys want to see more of this game as it gets up there, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. And if you generally enjoyed this video, special thanks to Marasu, Luigi Kid, and many playing the game. That's all right, man. That is absolutely fantastic. Thank you for making this game. But as I was saying, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, definitely smile like button. If you want to see more, tell me in the comment section down below. And if you're not part of that elusive early notification squad, then ring and ding that bell. It's hugely appreciated, guys. But most importantly, thank you for watching today. And I'll see you in the next one.